this video we will show you how to solve problems that may occur when updating a nanotech controller via Ethernet. First we connect our example motor controller the N524. To do this we choose Ethernet as communication interface. We connect via the IP address of the controller and are notified of a firmware update. Now we select the update file for the N524 and start the update via flash. Here the error message that the connection to the bootloader failed appears frequently. Even though the error message appears, in most cases the controller was still set to bootloader state. If the bootloader state is active, the LED L1 is constantly green instead of blinking. We can now directly connect to the bootloader via the MAC address of the controller. Therefore, we choose Ethernet and then the option Connect to Bootloader. Next, we choose the corresponding network card. Here, it is important to explicitly click on the correct network card, even though the correct one was already chosen. Lastly, we enter the MAC address of the controller. and connect via finish to the bootloader. As the controller is now only running the bootloader, we are automatically redirected to the firmware update screen and we repeat the update process. The firmware update was successful this time and we can connect to the controller again via the IP address. As we can see, the firmware update to version 21.39 was successful now. 